Hi, I'm Jesper from the ST TouchDFX team. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the new features of the TouchDFX 4.19 release, the improved text management system. For this, I have opened a new application in the 4.19 designer. Let me add a background color and a text area. So, a text area has an associated property where you can change the text directly, like this. But the underlying structure of the text is to be found in the text tab over here. Here is where you manage your text, make sure that it has the right typography and that all the translations are done correctly. This is in no way different than for uh, from previous versions of TouchDFX. What is different is that in the old version of TouchDFX, this was one long list of text to be translated and managed. Now it, it is grouped and you can add groups, you can rearrange your texts to uh, be included in, in, in a group, uh, you can sort them, you can name them and do a lot of things. You can search your groups for uh, texts or strings that you uh, know that you want to search for. These can be included both in the ID or in one of the translations. How you want to name your group, if you want to use group at all, is up to you. But here I can show you, I can add a new group, I can rename it to uh, whatever I want, and I can start adding texts here. The texts you add are resources as known from previous versions of TouchDFX. So resources is a text where you have an ID and thus you can reference these in in a number of text areas on your canvas screen over here. If I have more texts, I can uh, rearrange them so that they have the order that I want, want to use. And if I change the texts in one of them, not two of them, actually, and search, I'll see the one called or include hello. The bottom one here you see is says the ID is auto-generated. So this is actually the text that I associated with this uh, text area here. So the ID says auto-generated, the text was hello. So that's why I found that one when I searched. This notion of auto-generated is the thing we in previous version called single-use texts. So single-use text is a text that is only used by one text area and it is managed by the text area. So if I delete this text or this text area, that text and that translation will be deleted as well. Whereas if the, uh, the, t uh, the text area has pointed at a resource, so one of the other texts I made here, then the resource would not be deleted because it could be referenced by other text areas. So those are managed by you as a programmer. So those you need to make sure you clean up if you have someone, uh, some, something that you do not need uh, to be in your application or you do not use anymore. So auto-generated uh, text IDs are for convenient and for text areas that you want to uh, have control over the associated text. If you want to promote this, if you uh, realize that, oh, I need to keep this, I want to have this as a permanent resource, I want it uh, to maybe to be uh, referenced from other text area, you can simply go here and instead of uh, it stating it is auto-generated, uh, you can write uh, a text here and it will be, uh, it will be um, changed to that. So now, as we saw before, 
this is now called my resource instead. So you can notice that if I add uh, some more text areas, a uh, couple of those, then I'll have some new auto generated in the unsorted group here that is uh, a, a fixed group where things added in this way will come. If you, I, so I promoted this and I might want to say, okay, so now this is, uh, belongs to my group, so I can move it there. So I can remove it from the unsorted uh, bucket. But how you uh, sort this and how you, you manage this is of course completely up to you. New languages are uh, here, uh, just as uh, you're used to. Um, you can add them, you can copy values and so on. Um, a new thing here is that you have control over the columns you see, so you can actually hide a column, or you can even go here and uh, say which one you you wanna you wanna see. Navigation has also been improved in in this uh, sheet here, so you can use uh, keys, uh, arrow keys, and uh, you can F2, and then you can manipulate the text. And you have a right-click menu where you can do various things, so you can you can copy a resource and so on. The typography tab here has also changed quite a bit. So now you have your list like this, and you can uh, configure your typography uh, with these fields here. One big change for the typography is to be found in these in this default settings and the plus tab here. So I can have special override settings for various languages. So as you might know, in the previous version, you had you you specify a typography, a the typography that this row should use. So the the, the the font, the bit per pixels, and and um, so on. Here, uh, you had the opportunity to override the settings for that typography. So, if, for example, in the case if you had um, Chinese as one of the, the the languages, which where you did not have the Chinese characters uh, in that font, or for some reason you want for that row, uh, that column to use a different uh, font, then you could override it as a special thing up here. That's gone now. But what you can do instead is that in the typography list here, you could say for, well, it's not Chinese, but let's say it is for this language here, I want not to use the, the default thing here. I have a, a different font that I want to use. I want a different size and a different BPP. Special characters and so on is also applied for them. So instead of you have to make this correction for all the Chinese um, text that uses that typography, where you typically want to override it for each time you use that typography. Now you can state it one place in the typography tab here and have the effect everywhere. So that should ease the process quite a lot. You still have one override uh, possibility here as I showed. So this is the alignment for this text. It can be all written so that for Chinese or Arabic, it is right aligned, for example, instead of left. Coming back to the usage of uh, text areas and text in this uh, property pane over here, um, if I want to not use an auto-generated ID, so I want to use one of my resources, I can um, search for it here. And now this is also much more intuitive. I have my groups. I know where to look for my texts. If not, I can search here. This one will search on the ID. So if I have a, an idea on what my 
I have called my my resource, then it's easy to to find here and uh, and change. So that sums up some of the changes that have we have done to the text management system in TouchDFX. Everything else, the underlying structure, so the XML file where we save all the texts, have changed a little bit, but is overall the same. The conversion tool from XML to Excel sheets that you can use if you're sending uh, your uh, text to translators are the same. Um, when you update to 419, the update step will be done automatically. There can be a few changes, especially if you have uh, used uh, this feature of overriding typographies with size or, or BPP or, or fonts for your for a specific uh, entry for a language, then the conversion step will create a typography that has a setting that matches. And if you have done very complex things as having different override settings for the same typo typography, it will create create multiple typographies to match this. But this will be uh, very rare and it should work just out of the box. So hope this has uh, encouraged you to use the, the text management system in, in uh, TouchDFX even more and hope you'll like it. It is based on a lot of feedback from users and partners and so on. So we hope that uh, we have improved uh, the overall quality of this for you and for other users of TouchDFX. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the changes we made. See you. Bye bye.